People just need to readjust their way of thinking, to readjust their perspective of what is important in reality, because it's not paper, folks. What's important is reality itself. And we really do need to pay attention to what's going on around us, because... It's time to act, folks. It's really time to act because we are being assaulted from all sides now. I mean, the chemtrails, the pollution, Fukushima, what's going on over there, and this fracking, everything that's happening, it's truly becoming beyond a joke. And if you look around, folks, if you really step back and take stock, it really would appear that the human race is being exterminated. The depopulation plan has stepped up threefold just this year it's amazing the steps that the elites seem to be taking and most people are still caught up in the television and caught up in the rigors of everyday life and are far too busy to look around them to see what's actually going on we really are in a time of change folks a lot of people will make it through the change just fine. I'm sure those who are awake will make it through the change as long as they approach things from the correct energetic state and don't approach this change in a state of fear or hatred. I mean, sure, there may be a period where you may have to defend yourself or stand your ground or something, but again, you don't need to do this from a state of fear or hatred. You just do what needs to be done because it's necessary. But you do it from a state of love. You really need to keep yourself in the correct energy through all this period. And there'll be a lot of people also who don't make it through. There's a lot of people that are here in the world today that will suffer and many that will die through these periods. And that's okay too. That's what these souls chose to come here to do. And it is their suffering that will wake up other people. See, everything has balance, folks. I'm not meaning to be cold or cruel or unkind when I say that. It's simply the way things are. If you look at things holistically, that's what you come up with. There always has to be a balance. And the really important thing is what you do. What you do personally. What energy you are personally in. And that is the most important thing. If you are in an energetic state of love, if you are in a state of giving to the creation and you address things that are going on around you from that perspective, we can still turn the tide. But if we can maintain an energetic state of love and giving and then apply it to the physical world around us now, we can still change things. We have that opportunity, folks, and we just have to embrace that opportunity. And again, all that's really needed is to change your perspective change your perception of what reality is because when you can change your perspective you can remove fear from your life and it is in removing fear that you can stand up and address the issues that we face and in changing your perspective you will see how problems do become opportunities everything that we face is an opportunity folks the fracking is an opportunity it's a golden opportunity it's a wonderful opportunity it's a gift because fracking is something that will unite the entire world, because this is water. They're talking about taking our water now. So it is a golden opportunity, and we have to seize these opportunities when they come, because that's why they are provided to us. And we've got to understand that it's our problem. It's up to us to change it. We can't expect the government to change it. We have to do it ourselves. We have to realize who and what we are and come into our power and stand up and address the situation, but we have to do it from the correct energetic state. That's all. It's really that simple. The answer to everything, folks, is in fact so simple that most people simply cannot see the answer. They think there must be forms to fill out or something. There must be a war to fight or a battle to be waged or something like that. But in reality, the truth is so absurdly simple that unfortunately most people simply can't see it because they can't believe that it could truly be that simple. But it is that simple. And for me, that is probably the most frustrating part of all, folks, is the fact that it is so ridiculously simple. And I just live in the hope that the light bulb will go off in people's heads and they will have that aha moment and they will all stand up and join hands and turn to address 
the problems that we face and thereby heal them. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end of the show here, folks. So now I've probably gone off on a few tangents again today. I think it is rather fascinating looking at the state of ritual that we are in at the moment, though. I think the whole Beltane ritual this year was fascinating that they would have gone to so much trouble to have such a big Beltane ritual this year. And I think that 2011 has already excelled itself. We knew it was going to be a big year, folks, and it certainly hasn't let us down in our expectations. They seem to have very much ramped up the chemtrails lately as well, folks. We've got a lot of chemtrails around here lately. I'm pretty protected here from all my organite. I recommend that you get some organite, folks, if you haven't looked into it already. It truly is fascinating stuff. I just can't get enough of it. I love having it around me. I've got quite a lot of it around me now. And if you do need to get some organite, you can go to the Crow House forums and look up a character on the forums called Monsoon. He will look after you with some good quality organite. I would also like to remind Australian listeners that Ben Stewart will be out here at the end of May and early in June. He'll be doing talks in Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane and Byron Bay. I will likely be at the talks as well. I'll probably be emceeing the events. I'm still making up my mind whether to go down to Melbourne and Sydney, but there's a very good chance that I actually will. So if you are in Australia, then I'll get to see you at the talks as well. I'm just debating whether I really want to go to Melbourne at this time of the year because it's quite cold down there. So I'll have to make up my mind whether I want to go and battle the winter elements, folks. I'd like to thank you again for all the support you've shown me and the support that you show to thecrowhouse.com. Thank you for visiting the website and thank you for helping me keep it afloat. It really wouldn't be still up and running if it wasn't for the support that people have shown me. So folks, with everything that I've said to you on the show today, I think it's important that people become aware of the rituals that are being performed under their very noses all around the world. I think it's important that people become aware of the symbolism that they subject themselves to every day and the symbolism that they are subjected to every day because this symbolism does affect you in higher realms. Just giving certain signs and sigils your attention affects you in ways that you cannot imagine. And the most important thing through all of it, as I've so often said, is to maintain your energetic state. When you come in contact with other people, to treat them as yourself, to always love them, to always understand that even if they are acting in a polarized way, they're doing so because they have a misconception of reality, and usually for reasons that are not their own. It's usually that they've been trained to be that way because that's what our society does. But if we can change our perspective of those around us and change our perspective of society and change our perspective of ourselves, then we can heal the planet and we can do it very quickly. Well, thank you very much for spending this time with me today, folks. It's been a pleasure talking to you again. I'll look forward to speaking to you again next week. Take care until then. In La Keshe.